Hi, my name is Christopher Hart, the author of many books on how to draw cartoons and manga and all that kind of stuff. Today I'd like to show you something from my book, Cartoon Faces. It shows you how to draw all sorts of cartoon faces and all things about cartoon faces. This is a cool uh, tutorial in the book. It's about drawing unusual head shapes. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is obviously is not based on just a circle and therefore there's something kind of interesting about it. I want to dig for something interesting, not, not always use the most obvious. So let's start with this. This is the basic head shape. Starts off like a straight line here and widens out like this. And at the bottom, let's make a curved line, nice curved line. And we'll create a long neck for this character. Bring it out like so. And now we'll start, we'll get the proportions. To do that, you have to really put the, the eye line in. How high or how low do you go? So I'm going to have it kind of low. I'm going to leave a lot of this for the hair. Just, and I'm going to just block it in really easily. And put the ears in the sides, just like this. Like this. So, and we can change it as we go. We probably will change it as we go. I'm going to, as a matter of fact, I'm going to soften the sides like this. Okay, bring the nose here because the nose is sort of the fulcrum of everything. You know, you use the nose to measure how far, if your eyes are, are well proportioned. Is this eye as close to the nose as this eye is close to the nose? So we'll start with the, with the nose right like this. And now let's have nice size eyes so they can be expressive. I'll move this in a little bit. So it doesn't overlap. And we'll have her looking kind of a wise look to the side. And to do that, we have to lower the eyelids. Have them almost half submerged under the eyelid. The eyes go up, but not too much. They're very flat, this kind, of, this kind of expression. This kind of wise look. I gotta straighten this out a little bit, make a few changes as we go. Here we go. I'll do it over in black when we're done. You'll, you get to see it. And we'll give her just a little bit of a wry smile, just a little knowing smile. So that, was, that will be more on one side of the face. A subtle smile is usually on one side of the face, not both. Now she's got too much chin. She's got too much chin. We'll have to take care of that. Okay, so let's go in here. That's better. Shave it down a little bit. Sometimes people get uh, concerned. I don't have the shape right. I don't have the shape to the face right. Well, that's okay. No one has to have the shape to the face right. Just change it as you go along. How does it look? Does it look? It doesn't look good still? Let's change it a little more. Be easy with yourself. This is all about your, your taste and sensibilities. If it looks okay, it's good, but it might not look that way right away. Okay, so I'll make the shoulders a little higher. Yeah, because they were a little low. Even for a long neck, that was a, a little low. And we'll put a necklace here. Okay. I think, uh, do I want to do that? I was thinking making it a little, the, the mouth a little lower. Just a little lower. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Sometimes what people do is they, they uh, make a copy of the original rough, the one they just started with, that they like. So if they change it and erase it, they still have the original to go back to. You don't want to go, oh, I should have kept it. I mean, how many of us have done that, right? I should have kept the drawing. Everybody's done that. So that's one way to avoid that. And let's add some eyelashes here. All right, now let's see if we can... I'm going to make this a little wider. Okay, now let's see what we get, okay? Nice thick eyelashes. Really thick. And Submerge these eyeballs under the eyelids. Like so. And make sure you show that eyelid for each one. There we go. I'm going to add a little shading here. And 
put that nose, a very simple nose. A little more. And tweak this a little bit. Again, flat, flat eyebrows. The reason is because it's kind of a subtle expression. If you use, you know, big arch eyebrows, it's going to be too loud for the expression. All right, so it's a little curl of a lip, more on one side than the other. Yeah, let's bring this flat down this way and flat down this way, and we'll curl the outside. It gives us a little bit of variety. And we'll make it a little narrower. Yeah, it was a little, a little full. Small ears, maybe an earring hanging from each one. That's good. I give her that necklace back. And I'm gonna just sketch this in. I'm not gonna fill it in because my fingers will give out. They really will give out. But I can't help it. It's a cartoon and I've got to try to finish it. So I'll finish it. You go away, get a sandwich, go to school, go to work, come back. I'll still be doing this. I do this for you. Don't thank me. I'm trying to save the world one cartoon at a time. All right. And a little shadow under the neck. A little bigger eye, that's better. A little more eye, okay. Boy, a lot of tweaking, huh? Uh, and that's good. There we go. So it's kind of, it's a little different than what I have. I, I always am in, improvising. So even if I have something in the book, I draw it again, I'm doing a little bit different job the next time. It's just fun. It's just tweaking it. it tweaking is character design. It's creating new stuff. So, but still, that is a different type of shape. It's not your typical cartoon circle head. Uh, so the book is, here it is, here's the original, so we tweaked it a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Interesting the differences, right? Cartoon faces. How to draw heads, features, and expressions. Hope you pick it up, and I am glad that you came and visited today. Hope you'll, you'll subscribe so you can get the new videos every week. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.